Hello guys and welcome back to the course. Today we will be starting with a new topic, transducers. So let's get started. There exists numerous physical quantities in the world. For example, mass, length, temperature, etc. We know that temperature is non-electrical quantity or you can say it is physical quantity. If you see the advanced thermometer which is available in the market nowadays, it shows the reading in digital format where display is used. The question here is how this non-electrical quantities gets converted into an electrical signal. There are so many other physical quantities like weight, intensity, pressure, distance, displacement, sound, where we use electronic instruments for measurement. So we need some device which converts these non-electrical quantities into electrical. A device which converts one form of energy into other form is known as transducer. There are so many transducers are available. They are divided into two types. First one is passive transducer and second one is active transducers. The example of passive transducers are LDR, thermistor, strain gauge and example of active transducers are solar cell, piezoelectric crystals. Let us explore what is the basic difference between active and passive transducer. According to their working, one can easily find out which one is passive and active transducer. A transducer which requires electrical power to convert non-electrical quantities into electrical quantities is known as passive transducer. And a transducer which does not require any external power for conversion is known as active transducer. This is also known as self-generating transducer. In the same way, transducer classified according to their working principle and the type of input physical quantities. The first one is mechanical transducer where the displacement or pressure gets converted into electrical quantities. For example, strain gauge, LBDT. We will study this in next couple of lecture. The second one is thermal transducer. The example of this thermal transducer is thermistor, thermocouple. The third one is magnetic transducer. The example of magnetic transducer is induction coil or surge coil. The fourth one is radiation transducer. The example of radiation transducer is phototube or photodiode. We will study all these transducer in detail. Hope you enjoyed this video. As we use so many transducer in our day to day life, it would be really interesting to see how this device actually works. See you in the next video.